Hello and welcome to Gilly's Hearthstone Variety Show. I'm Gilly Weed and today is Tankard Tuesday. Now, today's a little bit different because I don't actually have a tankard still. I'm working on it and uh, I'm not drinking beer either, but that's because I um, had a Christmas party this weekend and got stuff to make sugar cookie martinis, which are delicious, and wanted to have another one of those today because I still had stuff left over. Um, so I'm actually putting sprinkles. Oh god, none of them are sitting on top. Well, you can kind of see the sprinkles on the bottom of the drink. Here's the sugar cookie martini. Delicious. Let's not spill it in a weird glass. It has half and half butterscotch schnapps, whipped cream vodka, Baileys, and something else in there. I'll think of it. Anyway, there's five different things in there and sprinkles. Of course, there are a lot of sprinkles that just sunk to the bottom there. That's going to be gross later. Okay, well, let's play. I'm just going to ladder today. Um, the ladder got reset, and now there's 25 different ranks. So I'm still in Angry Chicken rank, which is the la bottom one, because everyone got reset. So I'm just going to be trying to level up some. Um, I may play my old priest deck and see how it fares. I haven't even tried it yet to see how it will work. I played a couple games as a priest just to see how, uh, or not a priest, a paladin, to see how that went, because that's probably the second most class that I'm um, most comfortable with. And then um, I also have two quests for a shaman deck, so I may play that, but I'm very uncomfortable with a shaman deck. I've pretty much only played it to get to um, level 10 with the deck. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to hop into the game, and... Oh, yeah. Oh, chocolate liqueur is the other. Creme de cacao. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the ranking reset did kind of suck because I was just about to master's. But that's, that's okay. I'll get back up to it. And this way I can kind of have a little bit of a break before I have to super um, worry about being playing to my best caliber. Although I have already lost one game. It was a very good warrior deck. I think someone was also trying to level back up to his original place. Um, so let's start with, let's try this shaman deck. I just made it. I haven't even played it. We're just going to see what happens. I'm going to try to take a drink of this while it's filling it. Uh, congrats on going up to 21, Rot. And also, hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think today is going to be kind of nuts because there's going to be so many people trying to regain their ranks. Um, so it'll be kind of hard to judge how a deck's really doing. But we'll see. Hmm... I want to keep my Lightning Storm because I'm playing a Pally, and those can get kind of overwhelming. I'm going to get rid of Hex. So this deck is interesting. It's based on having stealth minions and then buffing them. Fantastic. Two Lightning Storms. Um, yeah, stealth minions and then giving them um, buffs and Wind Fury, and then attacking with them twice. So we'll see how... Wow, Ogre played a game versus someone yesterday, and every single card was gold. That guy's crazy. Yes! The best totem. <laughs> Thank you for getting, for congratulating me on getting lucky with my random totem. This guy got two fairy dragons. His first... Turn. That's really lame. Let's play this Jungle Panther. And then next turn I can give it Wind Fury, which is cool. Hmm. 
And, ooh, if I wait it, then I could give it plus three attack. Hmm. Wind Fury plus, plus three attack might be worth taking two hits from... I could just lightning storm next this round and the next turn give it wind fury and plus three attack. I think I'm gonna do that. That'd be pretty potent. And it kills them all. Awesome. I don't know why I was gonna emote there. I'm still waiting. I do not want anything to happen to this dude. Oh, does it? Oh, it does have overload. Whoops. See, told you guys, not familiar with the Shaman deck. Oh, well. I'll bide my time. I've got like a hex. And um, some stuff I can do. There we go, all fairy dragon. And I can silence this guy. And I'll get rid of his shield. That'll be good. Biding my time. Till I get my wind speaker. The overload aspect is really interesting. For Shaman, I really have not played this deck at all. But I have two quests, one of which will give me, if I get two wins, then I get 40. And then it's either five wins or five games or something like that, and I get 60 gold. So 100 gold. What? Well, we're just not going to kill you then. All right, here we go. All right, Wind Fury. Extra attack. Oh, and next turn, oh, I should have just hexed. Well, I'm learning. Okay. Oh, all right, that goes away. 14 damage, that's pretty. It's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I could have hexed, though, and then waited and done that next turn and been patient. But I'm impatient. I really wanted to do that. <laughs> Shielded. Well, I didn't really want to get my minion stolen. Is the problem when she dies, she takes control of a random enemy minion. That would have sucked. What would rock is if I could kill her now. Well, I can hex her. That's good. Get rid of that. Yes! <sighs> That's fun! <laughs> Oh my goodness, this guy, this guy's doing some work. Okay. Some more stealth time. I don't know the whole viability of this deck. I kind of just found it. I was like, yeah, sure, this looks fun. He's really like, I don't know what I should do. What should I do? It's okay, buddy. Follow your heart. <laughs> He's really like, oh, what do I attack? I can't decide. I 
they would have attacked me. Aha, uh -huh, you couldn't touch my dude because he has stealth. Alright, this will give me two attack. Yes! I'm just going to go straight for him. Hey, Lard and Game Face Killer. How's it going? Is anyone else enjoying a tasty beverage this evening? Oh my god. So this guy's deck, I'm not going to feel bad to losing to. Because he has played two legendaries so far. Silly. Alright, so I can give this guy Wind Fury. Which I'm definitely going to do. Spawn El Totem. I can kill this guy, but I'm going to take the damage from it. Hot cocoa stirred with a candy cane? That is fancy! Amazing. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I do have to kill... He's so angry. I can attack him once and then kill this minion. Not the greatest, but I do not feel bad. This guy's played two legendaries. Silly. Alright, move on up your ranks. Let me play my little measly shaman deck in peace. At least I can't lose stars right now. Love it. <laughs> Do you live in Wonka's factory? <laughs> I want hot chocolate stirred with a candy cane. That sounds delicious. We'll try this deck again. If it looks like it's really not working, we can switch it up. I've won two games with the Pally deck, so I know it's at least somewhat viable. I need some music. Who has a song stuck in their head? Oh, God. I don't like mirror matchups. They always freak me out. And I always have to go first in them. <sighs> Do I get rid of my wind speak? I'll get rid of the wind speaker. That's good. Strong twos across the board. Um, I've got Heya stuck in my head. You know, my baby, don't mess around. That one, it's so good. So if I play my axe, I can get three attacks in. Or I could draw a card. Or I could summon a totem. I'll summon a totem. Healing totem! Do you guys know why healing totem has a, such a grumpy face? He's got like the grumpiest look on his face. So angry. 
He is my neighbor. Yeah. That is why. <laughs> Genius. Uh, oh, two axes. Time to do work. Whoa! Hmm. That is going to be a tough card if I do not get rid of it. I give a minion Wind Fury, but that's not a great minion to have Wind Fury with. I will play my stealth. Healing! I love it! Maybe I can give this guy Wind Fury, but he's just. Oh, you know what I can do. Oh, that's so unlucky! Look at this cool overload deck, man. He's gonna have like no mana to spend next turn, but then again, I can't really get rid of this. So, oh, I can silence it. That's pretty good. Silenced. <laughs> Uh, an axe, card draw, and I'll get rid of this Healy totem so he can't heal his dude. Yeah, that was a victory set. I felt proud of that turn. Um, I like the overload idea because it's like you play a bunch and then to get rid of his stuff and then you hope that the next turn when you're not going to have you're not going to be able to play anything because all your mana is locked you'll hopefully um be able to i i don't know like withstand it that turn and the next turn you'd play a bunch with overlord overload again i keep saying overlord it's starcraft on the brain So I'm just trying to draw some cards. Get rid of this stupid minion. It's taking me forever. Yeah, Lard, Brill is like the new thing in our chat. It's so Brill. And um, G-Dogs as well. Good time. No, Tastingo. So the annoying thing with having Wind Fury is that these stealth minions all have low health. So it's really difficult to be able to kill them. I could maybe kill it by lightning storming. If it deals three damage to it, I can kill it. Here we go! Yes! Now I can kill it. And I can give it Wind Fury. Ba bam!
Oh, good luck with your finals, guys. Thanks for watching me, even amid finals. Nice of you guys. I feel special. Can't play anything, Lord X. Oh, goodness. I find it interesting that he attacked this guy. So I can bloodlust. Hmm. If I play this axe, I won't be able to bloodlust, but I'll be able to kill this guy between me and this wind speaker here. I think that's the better. So then I don't sacrifice my um my panther. Is that what it is? Yeah. We're getting there. We're close. What's your presentation on, Mr. Lard? Game Face Killer are your um, finals that you're giving to people ridiculously difficult. Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, he can kill me. Hmm. I can kill this one, but it'll still take the damage. Difficult. I don't have anything with charge. This deck could do with some charge. Even if I play this guy, can't do anything. This doesn't give me attack. I think all I can do is hope that this is taunt. No, definitely not. Yeah, I mean, I'll play the tiger. I just don't. But he can kill me. He has enough to kill me. Yeah. I mean, I can kill this, but he still has eight. So there's like nothing I can do. Oh, this person at least killed me right off the bat. That was nice. Thank you for doing that. All right, let's switch to Pally. I feel like the deck would do better with some taunt. I don't know if you guys noticed what I called my pally deck the new priest because <laughs> I was playing priest and now I'm not. So that's my new priest. It's the pally. Okay. Ugh. I love Blessing and Wisdom. It's my favorite pally card. Because you can put it on their minion, and then they either have to not attack with their minion, or they give you a card every time they attack with it. So you just put it on one of their big minions, they're like, damn it. Why did you do this to me? He did not do anything. See what he does with this. If 
he plays one of those imps, I'm going to be grumpy. It seems like every warlike I play gets one of those ridiculous imps that gives every other minion one health right off the bat. I don't know how they do it. They must mulligan very crazily. It's probably going to be a murloc. What? It's not. Let's see. Yep. Man. The Warlock Murloc deck is like the only Warlock deck I see anymore. Just so many Murlocs gurgling away. Alright, all of the Murlocs have plus two, plus one. So that's a good one to get rid of. All right, so I'm gonna have to hope that I get some consecration cards and maybe even the quality ones because the quality plus consecration is really good because it'll reduce all of the health of the minions down to one and then consecration just kills them all. I'm definitely gonna have to deal with these murlocs because even if you kill like 10 of them they still have enough to kill you in one turn at the end of the game and they always play this power overwhelming with it i'm surprised oh i see why he was doing it he's gonna absorb that and become a crazy minion <laughs> Blessing of Wisdom so I can get some cards. God, that's so mean. <laughs> he like went to all this work to absorb minions and then killed. Oh, so funny. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm recovering. <laughs> Uh, it was 14, and I reduced it to 1. <sighs> okay. Good. I'm fine. All right. So I can Divine Shield and kill this one. That's pretty good. Or I can just give it plus 4, plus 4. That's pretty awesome, too. Uppity Warlock. I can Divine Shield and... Because as long as it's attacking, I'm getting cards, which makes me happy. Um... I don't want to put too many minions out in case he has Hellfire, but I don't know that a, a Warlock with a Murloc deck would use Hellfire because that would kill all of its minions. Um, I think I'll just wait. I'm, I've got a board control, so... 
and more cards than he does. So he's going to have to start live tapping. So I'm in a happy place. Now I'm not. Um... The quality is not really that helpful without a holy nova. I could give this guy 4-4 four, four and kill old Murkai with it because the sooner I kill him the better. And I can't do anything about these stupid blood imps until... I think the plus... Plus four, plus four might be my best bet here. This is my and then if he survives, I can give him plus three attack next turn. I give him plus five attack. It's pretty impressive. Gotten rid of old Murkai. That's pretty good. Now what I really need is a is a consecration. If I had a consecration and equality, I'd be in a great spot. Consecration. It's mm. not what I wanted. So this guy's giving. Oh, but it's his battle cry. Once I kill these two, they're just done. Look at that. He's a 1-1 one, one, and he's buffed to 1-5. Ridiculous. Alright, well, equality. They're still... Because they're buffed. Because of these stupid... Blood imps. Yeah. Blood imps are OP, man. I know. It's stupid. Oh, and it changed my minions to one. Yeah, that was not bright. Well, I've learned. I thought that it would also take um, that into consideration, but no. Oh, God. This is not good. Oh, no, I didn't even kill one. <sighs> well, I didn't realize that that's how blood imps worked. So at least I know now that they're OP, <laughs> which I already knew. I mean, I I just need a consecration. That's really what it boils down to. They would all be gone, with the exception of two of them, three of them. If I could just get a consecration, cannot. He's out of cards, so maybe I'll get a Consecration. We're basically both top decking now. Though we can do that. He can life tap. So next turn I can do 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12 damage. If I get anything... Oh, wait, I forgot that he hasn't attacked yet. <laughs> Lied! 
I lied. Well, he's getting rid of his imps now. That makes me happy. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see what he gets. Hellfire. He got something he wanted. Oh, more Murlocs. Fabulous. What I always wanted. I'm surprised he did that. <gasps> Did I just win this? Four, that's seven. Yep. Oh my god. Top decking for the win. Yes! <laughs> I'm no longer angry chicken. I'm a leper gnome. Yay. <laughs> I have the big ear. Fantastic. <laughs> I think I'd rather be an angry chicken. Ranked leper gnome. Let's get out of this rank as quickly as possible. Mm. So the sprinkles are making my drink this like gross pinky color because all the dyes are coming out of them. Ooh. Disgusting. Ooh, I get to go first. All right, druid. So I already know from this deck that I need either an Argent Protector, the Ooze, or the Divine, the Divine Shield 1-1. One, one. So these, this is good. I want to keep Consecration, and I like Blessing of Might. So I'm just going to get rid of Blessing of Kings. Maybe get a cheaper card or a more expensive one because that's how it always works. It does taste like sugar cookies. It's really good. Ooh. I don't want to do this until I've gotten rid of the Demi Divine Shield. I could give it plus three ta attack, but then its Divine Shield would be gone and it'd be vulnerable to getting destroyed by his power. So I don't want to do that either. I think I'll just summon... And then see what happens next turn. Zilf. What? That is an early berserker to have to deal with. I think I can maybe deal with it. I could get four damage. Oh, I'm just gonna have to equality. I think it's worth it to take out <laughs> that berserker. He agrees. Now my Divine Shield is back. Turn 3 Berserker was a little bit uh, frightening. I'm glad I could take care of that. We must the sun well. Oh, we had to use this, um, 
without. So this is the new Shattered Sun Cleric. It's a 3-2 minion now instead of a 3-3. Three, three. And you had to use it without being able to give a minion plus one plus one, which is pretty good for me. So I gave it plus three attack. Kill it and then give it another divine shield. Oh yeah, I have Dark Iron Dwarf. I forget these things. <laughs> so I have a Consecration. Argent Commander, which is going to be awesome. Although it was, was nerfed. It was 4-3 with Charge and Divine Shield, and now it's four, uh, a 4-2. I could give my Dark Iron Dwarf Blessing of Kings which would give it plus four, plus four, which would be pretty amazing. And then it could take out this and still be at four, six. I think that's pretty nice. Or I could just deal eight damage. I'm just gonna deal eight damage to him. Cause this just spawns another two uh, mini went dies anyway. And he's low on cards. I have more than he does. Barely. But still a little bit more. If it survives the next turn, then I can give it a Divine Shield too, which will help. And more attack. He's going to have to kill it with his hero power. So that's going to do eight more damage to him. That's that's a blessing of kings well used, I would say. This guy has four attack. That's seven if I wait until next turn to use it. I'm going to just make him, I'm going to stall until next round when I can Argent Commander and Blessing of Might. And that's seven attack with a charge. So it's seven attack that he's not thinking about. Out of nowhere. Now he's going to have to deal with it or he will lose. So let's see what he uses. He's going to taunt. I have never seen this card before. That is a cool looking card. So I can deal two damage to all enemies. That will bring it down to 8. This is 7. Blessing of Might will kill it, but I'll also lose my minion. I do have one more. And I have... He's so low, I can summon recruits. Plus Consecration will put him at 3. Uh, no, there's no card that has dark damage besides Consecration. That's alright. I still will have this. It's 24 versus 3. He would need the miracle of all miracles here.
All right, I can change his attack to one, which I think is definitely something to do. And deal two damage to all enemies. It'll take care of the taunt. <laughs> I've won one versus 24 or two, but it doesn't happen very often. Let's do the two damage first. Oh yeah, that's all I need actually. I didn't even need to worry about changing his attack. Yeah! Rank two Leper Gnome incoming. Let's see if we can um, get one more win before we're done. We'll keep playing with the new priest. He seems to be doing well. I took the lid off of my water bottle since it was making weird noises yesterday in stream. It was like whistling. So strange. Uh oh. Who wants to bet it's going to be some more Murlocs? I'm only getting both of my fours because they're too expensive, and that is a much better hand. Are any other Warlock decks viable? Or is the Murloc one just the only one that's viable at this point? Because that's the only one I've, I see anymore. It's like the minute one Warlock saw that another Warlock was going Murloc, they all did it. Just all of them. And they all use that power overwhelming and then consume the minion, which is an awesome strategy. It's just like, yeah, okay, I've seen this like 17 times. That's cool. Thank you. <gasps> a void walker and a blood imp. I was excited for a second and then I was sad. Hmm. I don't have to worry about any weapons. kind of thinking about not attacking here because it's not going to kill a minion and it'll just get rid of my divine shield and it'll be easy to kill next turn whereas this turn let's see what happens if I don't attack because now he would have to attack with both or he'll just get rid of the divine shield and not do anything and then I can kill him next turn kill the void walker let's see These are cards that were um, nerfed. They used to be deal two damage to your hero, now it's deal three damage to your hero. Personally, the card that should have been nerfed is this one. It's so annoying. All right. So I can kill the Voidwalker and give Divine Shield back to, maybe to this guy actually. That'd probably be a better and put my blessing of wisdom on something. I'm actually going to wait on the blessing of wisdom because I'm okay on cards and I would only get it for one card draw. I can always put it on an enemy minion if I have to. Uh, Next turn I can play Knife Juggler and then summon Silverhand Recruit and that will deal a random damage. Oh. 
Oh, okay, they're just gonna attack me. Sure. So if I do Consecration, it'll reduce everybody to one and kill this guy. Let's do that. Now I can kill both imps. Imp or the raid leader? Raid leader might be a better. Oh, I can kill them all. Board control! And we're still relatively equal on uh, health. That makes me happy. Except when he kills my minion and steals its health. I'm gonna draw a card. That's good. Stop. Hammer time. <laughs> Annoying. Maybe I'll get lucky and the random damage will be to the imp. I can dream. Probably not. Do it. Kill it. Yes! <laughs> the happiest of days! <laughs> awesome! That was amazing. He's life tapping his little heart out. That card destroys one of his main on crystals. Insane. Oh, and he got rid of, he lost Sacrificial Pact, so he can't sacrifice his demon in order to get health back. It's pretty huge. Um, so I can give this guy five attack, and it will die. It's good. And then buff this one. Looking good. Sends in some demons. So he doesn't have any void walkers left, so no taunt. He used one fell guard. Okay. Ooh, we lost a raid leader. Yikes. I'm actually going to use this weapon to kill this minion so that I don't have to lose any of my minions to do so or get it down to one health. Um And I'm also going to Blessing of Wisdom, that guy. And plus, I get two health back when I attack with this weapon. It's apparently one of the best weapons in the game. So I'll only be taking two overall damage, which is worth it. Nice. Just protecting my... Uh, my little dwarfy here. So next turn, I can deal 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 health. So, or damage. So, depending on what he top decks, probably got it. It's a legendary, but he doesn't have taunt, so I'm probably just going to end the game. Awesome. Got that card draw. Illidan. Sorry, man. Yeah. Oh, I got a bonus star. What? 
Now I'm an Argent Squire. Awesome! And I got some gold. Oh, I didn't win any with my Shaman, so I have not <laughs> gotten those uh, quests done. That's okay. Uh, that's my hour. It went really fast. It was super fun. Thank you guys for hanging out. Tomorrow will be a weird deck Wednesday, so I will make some sort of crazy deck, and we'll probably play it in unranked for obvious reasons. Um, if you have any suggestions for it, um, I've been thinking of maybe doing one that is, as much as possible, all randomized. So, like, the um, cards, like the knife thrower, where it's a random effect dealt to a random enemy. I think something like that would be fun. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions. And come back tomorrow. We'll do Weird Decks Wednesday. It'll be totally fun. Thank you for hanging out, and I will see you later. Bye!